peace. My name is Carrie Craig Walker. I'd like to share with you a little bit about what I have come upon in my years on planet Earth. Reading all kinds of books about religion, studying all the scriptures, looking into evolutionary processes, paleontology, the fossil record, and the biological aspects of evolution. I have come upon the reality that thought has created and invented all the religions throughout the world. This is a very difficult thing for most of us to understand or to, to, to have this insight in that thought has created, invented all the religions and their scriptures throughout this whole earth. Also, I have realized that religion is absolute nonsense. Um, having said that, we look at the evolutionary processes and you find that scientists oftentimes will um, present their case with evidence that supports their theory and it's very difficult to um, distinguish between the true and the false in all areas of science and in areas of mathematics. The established media of math and the established media of science is not always accepting of the truth that we find errors in some of the areas areas of uh, of science and of mathematics and physics and so forth. What I, what I have to share with you is an incredible thing because it's um, something based on the reality that any idea of becoming something um, spiritually is an ab abomination, is a contamination of a, a natural state of mind. Um, I, I say the truth is that you are already there if you would just look at yourself and, and look at the world around you. That there is no, nothing you have to come to. And there's nothing that I can teach you about spirituality that's not uh, a contamination of really what you already have. So if we could each see that religion is in fact bullshit, that um, and pardon me for using the, uh, a curse word because really thought has also created what's called bad words profanity. I mean, there's no such thing as a bad word, but organized religion has done a good job of, of creating these so-called profane words. But anyway, what I'd like to share is blah, 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 blah. Blah 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 a god of uh, some being that uh, created man to be some higher organism. It's all bullshit. Okay, there is no being or creator in the sense of a being. If that creator existed, it was simply 
it would simply uh, let us know it. Simple as that. And it has to be a pretty arrogant uh, creator or God to exist and have all this power to create us um, and all life and all the universe and have this incredible intelligence of ability design, to design and affect uh, organisms and, uh, and, and, and everything else throughout the universe and not let us know that it exists. So that creator is a myth, an illusion of thought, created and invented by human thought. So in a sense, man made God, not vice versa. But there is an energy behind creation. It's a mysterious, unknown energy, but it's the energy of the universe, and that takes a lot of open-minded study. But, you know, we have to be willing to be hesitant in our research and, and take the time to look through something completely and not just, you know, be uh, have attention deficit disorder and um, not investigate the whole realm of a, of, of a book or of a video or of or anything that we're pursuing, we have to patiently uh, attend the entire book or the entire video to find out what this person is saying. But we don't tend to do that. We tend to jump to conclusions. We, we tend to want to voice our opinion right away to support our views. So most of the views of everything from science, religion, uh, evolution... Uh, physics, mathematics, is mostly bullshit. And I've studied it. I can do quantum physics, quantum mathematics. I've studied the rope theory. All these theories, different theories of gravitation, string theory, space-time curvature, and it deals with uh, theories with magnetism. I mean, we don't even know how magnets really work. I mean, we have theories. We don't know what's inside the Earth. We have theories. We don't know what dark energy, dark matter, matter is. We have theories. Quarks are kind of a mystery to us, but we have theories. So anyway, the bottom line is, you're already there. And any action to become something more spiritually is a contamination of what you are. So blah 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 blah